can't stay focused for, you know, he's like a little kid on a Saturday morning. Watch one cartoon and stay in front of the set. I believe you call that attention deficit syndrome. I believe that's what uh, the fine judge is suffering from right now. From the Henry Mitchell School of Law in Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania. And I asked him, I said, Wilkes Bar, he says, yes, that's where they give the bar exam, you idiot. That's well, what course. he said to me. Well, of course. Wait a minute now. Oh, wait a minute now. The judge tried to lure Norris into a false sense of security. Oh, Charlie's threatening. Do it! Do it! Do it! Oh, ho, ho. he is very close to future little judges right there. Oh, no. There's that thunderous clothesline. I think the judge ought to go in for the cover count of one, two, no. Charlie a little slow to cover the judge right there. And he's back in control. I'll tell you, the judge walked right into that clothesline. He bounced off the ropes and right into the thunderous clothesline of Charlie Norris. And now Charlie using an arm bar, trying to gain the upper hand, maybe take an extremity away from the judge. and. You get, you get the judge a little pain, and psychologically, this guy completely breaks down. He's a, he's a psychological mess. Now he's got Charlie into the corner. You know this is not going to be a clean break. Referee putting on a count, and there's, oh, the judge telegraphed. He Western Union that to Telegraphed in my, oh, hard into the buckle and into the arm drag again. You talk about telegraphing a maneuver. My God, all of a sudden, everything went into slow motion. 33 and a third. Oh, he's, I don't know if he told the referee to shut up, me or you, the fans, the popcorn vendor. I think it was a universal shut up. I think that's what it was. It was directed at everybody. And now Norris really putting the pressure on the Judge Randall Gusto. You would have to say that for three quarters of this match, Thunderblood Charlie Norris has not only been the aggressor, but he has had the judge all wrapped up. Both physically and psychologically, the judge has just been a mess throughout this entire match. Now trying to mount some type of offense, but Charlie Norris just returns every single punch. Tremendous oh. kick and a chop. What a chop right across the sternum, and now the judge drills him twice. In for the cover. Count of one and two. Nope. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, this is Mick Karsh along with Steve Anderson. We're at the Rosemount Community Center. Congratulations to Gene Delino, our good friend, for putting on an outstanding card in cooperation with Pro Wrestling America. Wait a second now. Well, the judge, he was going after Lou Michaels. Oh, no, man. Oh, what a shot with that chair. Sweet Lou Michaels of radio and TV fame was unceremoniously dropped out of his chair. Look at this, all the way across. Oh, into the wall on the other side of the building. Come on. And the referee is You know, I'm distracted. Some very attractive and exuberant fans to my right. Very, very intently watching this one as I'm very intently watching them. Going back to the other side of the arena now, and now the judge takes Norris. Wait a second, oh, he's grabbing him by the hair. What's he doing? Oh, no, hard into that post. He might have broken a collarbone there. Reversal by Norris, who now, oh, wait a second, high risk, Steve, from the top. Oh, that tomahawk. And Charlie can't follow up. He's too beaten down. Eddie Sharkey let a lot go by there with the use of a chair, the wall, and a garbage can. And now Randall Gusto is back to it with a cheap shot. Well, very low. He's in for the cover. Count of one, two, not quite three. Referee Eddie Sharkey being admonished by the judge who's threatened Sharkey on more than one occasion. Believe you me. He's trying to pick him up, belly to back, oh man. 
in for the cover. That's got to do it. Count of one. And once again, Charlie Norris able to kick out on the judge, complaining about the count and the speed of the count to referee Eddie Sharkey. Dangerously close to a choke. We are very, very delighted to be here on the camera work once again for our television programs here in the Twin Cities. Superb. Taking you right into the ring. The crowd getting into it as Norris battling back. I'll tell you, Randy Gusto had the advantage right there. And there he goes again. It's a cheap shot. And this seems to be the only way he can get Charlie Norris down. And now he's going for the ropes, too. Eddie, Eddie Sharkey putting the count on Randy Gusto. And Randy Gusto actually listening to what Sharkey has to say. Well, I'm not sure if he listened or if he's just too exhausted to maintain that choke. This one is about 15, 20 minutes long. Both men giving as good as they've gotten. Typical Norris and Gusto matchup. Both of these men would love to get a shot at any independent championship in the state. Oh, there's a great suplex by the judge. Count of one, two. And once again, every time Norris kicks out, the judge is whining. I'll tell you, maybe the judge should go out and get a refereeing license. After the performance of Mike Diamond tonight, there, there just may be a vacancy for that job. You wonder how it would have been if he would have presided over the Simpson case. Oh! That trial wouldn't have lasted. Oh, well, there's a shot! Oh! He hit Norris right in the jaw, and Norris went right through the ropes onto the floor. And the judge follows up on him right now. Tosses him back into the ring. And if there's, a, there's a sloppy cover for heaven's sakes. He didn't even bother hooking the leg. I'll tell you, once again, once again, he's getting after Eddie Sharkey. And Eddie Sharkey's one of the most respected referees here Wait in the PWA. Now. And he's Charlie Norris, here. Charlie Norris is right behind him. Oh, oh no, over the top. Got a one, two. Oh, oh, was that close. Oh, the little playground trick. <laughs> oh, the judge is hot. He is absolutely hot. Oh, he rolls him up again, second time. And he's got the tights, but that's it. Well, the judge, the old adage, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. This guy's been fooled all his life, Steve. I'll tell you, there's an expression, too, payback is a you-know-what, and I think the judge got paid back very well tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Thunderblood Charlie Norris.